For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. My name is James, and this is my testimony. There's things as Christians you you don't do. Um, you know, there's there's things like you know wild drug use and partying and you know just really all the doozies that'll land you in jail. But then there's I feel like certain sins that certain Christians can kind of get away with, and I feel like poorly managed finances is one of them. It was for me. And I think just uh, a few Sundays ago, somebody from the front talked about uh, looking at a person's checkbook to kind of see where their true heart was or is. And that's so true. And at age 30, if you looked at my checkbook, my bank statement, it would not have been kingdom-centered values. It would have been me-centered values. And as I really break it down, I think about the fact that these things provide me some sense of self-worth. But that self-worth should come from my identity in Christ, from who God made me to be, from the gospel that I've received, from the fact that I was made in His image. That should be enough. God is enough. I, a few people at my church, a few people in my life uh, came around me and, and actually called me on this very thing, which that's a bold move. I don't know if I could do that to somebody else to call them out for their poor finances. Um, but the more I listened, the more I learned, not only had I been a bad manager of my own finances, but there was also a heart issue where I was focused on not the gospel, but on the shiny things. And I think about that song turn your eyes upon Jesus and the things of this world will grow strangely dim. I needed to change my focus from the shiny things and put it on Jesus and really revel in the glory and beauty of the gospel, the glory and beauty of, of his face. I've been working that out for the last decade or so, and I feel like I'm reaching a point where I am leading my family well in this regard, but I still like the shiny things. I still need God's redemptive work in my life. You see, the gospel isn't just a one-time event that happens in our life. When we accept Christ in our life, we need to preach the gospel to ourselves daily and let the work of the gospel take place in our lives daily.